A young Sevierville woman says that her mobile home is so unhealthy she has actually moved her kids to live with relatives. The mother of three says the trailer she rents is filled with mold. She told Six On Your Side consumer reporter Don Dare she stopped paying her rent. Then just recently, she was sent a 30-day notice. Don. Well, that's right, Bo. The notice says she owes more than $1,000. Amanda Trenum says part of her kitchen was flooded last year. Then her hot water heater broke, flooding her utility room just recently. She said a few repairs were made, but there is still mold throughout her home. So she withheld part of her rent over the past few months and refused to pay all of her rent most recently. Now management is threatening to evict her. All this is molded. Amanda Trenum pointed to unrepaired and moldy drywall behind her stove that had been soaked by rainwater. It's just peeling off, isn't it? Yeah. This was actually falling down onto my stove, and if we tried to cook, the, I guess the moisture from it was sure. making it fall down. She cleaned the cabinet below the sink, but you can see where it had been wet from the leak in the wall. When it rained, this whole stove would be covered in water, which was running down onto the electrical panel. You can see the outside of the trailer through the crack right there. This is where all the mold comes in. Amanda says her hot water heater started leaking several weeks ago. The leak was plugged, but you can see sheetrock on one side of the water heater that's moldy and deteriorating. The wall has actually caved in. Right down here? Yes. You moved everything out of here? Yes. Because of the mold issue? Mm-hmm. And over here in your bathroom, you have another problem? Yes. Under this sink, there is more mold. Sure is. Woo! Holy smoke. <laughs> oh, my. There's mold buildup on the wall to her bathroom cabinet. Another leak, this one a bad one, came from a hole in her bathtub. We let them know a little over a year ago that it was flooding into the floor. They come in, took the wall down to see where it was leaking from. They never put the wall back. They never came to repair it. There is a uh, mold in the window sills all the way down. And it's in every window in my house. So basically your whole trailer is... Molded. Full of mold. Yes. What's it like on your clothes? We keep our clothes in containers. You've contacted management? And... I've contacted the office. And I've even talked to the owners personally. And their response? Turn it into the office. Mrs. Trenum and her husband moved out of their master bedroom several weeks ago. There's too much mold. It's hard to breathe at night if you try to sleep in here. I woke up gasping for air in the middle of the night and having to use a breathing treatment. The couple set up their bed and other furnishings in their living room. Their three children presently live with relatives nearby. That's because they don't want their kids around the mold that's filled their home. The Trenums live in the Deerfield Park development in Sevierville. Presently, they pay $800 a month rent, but it's going up to $1,100. Amanda was sent this demand letter from management earlier this month. Had 14 days to pay $1,150. If not, I have to be out within 30 days, which would put it October the 8th, because they said 30 days from the date of the letter. Mrs. Trenum had sent a punch list of repairs when new management took over the park a few years ago. At one point, they were going to put me in a different trailer. They were going to fix one and put me in it. They are no longer wanting to do that. Amanda says a new door was installed last year because it didn't lock. But the repairman left a sizable gap above the door. They said they'd be back out next day to finish it. They have not. I see a lot of mold, not only right below you, but all around your mobile home. Yes, all the way down. Green. Green. We've tried to clean it. It don't go nowhere. We reached out to the management at Deerfield Park. There's been no response. Mrs. Trenum says she does not plan on paying the $1,100 in back rent because her home is not safe. Now, the state's Landlord Tenant Act says if you have an unhealthy condition in your rental home, here is what you need to do. Report any needed repairs to the landlord and put your concerns in writing. This creates a record. Mold is considered an unhealthy condition under the Landlord Tenant Act. Amanda says while her landlord tried to get rid of the mold, it's been a real struggle continuing to deal with it. 
Right now, management at her park is ready to take her to court if necessary. Again, there's been no response from Deerfield's Park's corporate office. Bo? My goodness, Don, keep us posted on how this one plays out. Thank you, sir. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email, ddarewat.com. You can also give him a call, 865-633-6923.